Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment, the final installment of Sentient. We're going to take a look at uh, three more endings. The first thing I'm going to do is something that's thoroughly dumb. I noticed Lovey and her husband argued a lot. Yeah, you're telling me. Speaking of which, that's what I was going to get into. I'm going to give him the evidence recording that I have against him. Here, have this evidence recording. Uh, thanks? You will regret this. You had so much at your feet with this tape. You could have proven everything. But instead, you submit your power to me. Foolish. Very foolish. Did you really expect me to thank you for this? Did you expect my respect? No. You would have been better advised to have left this alone. Perhaps even never have come here at all. Yeah, and he shoots me. Oh, man. Getting sick of that happening. Is what, the third time now? Jeez. Imprisoned again? And here I am in... Somewhere in engineering. And I can't leave. So, my only choice is to wait. So, wait we shall. Finally. Come on, let's get you out of here. Garalak has heard about what you've been trying to do. He considers it to be of some importance. Okay. Is that it? Alright, there we go. The guy who freaking shot me and knocked me out. Gotta be here somewhere. Ah, that's cool. I didn't even know about this. That's awesome. Oh, we got all the nodes. Yeah, at some point I should probably just mess with the nodes, just see what happens. Like medical, instruments, atmosphere. I don't know where I'd find it though. Like selecting it doesn't do anything. Station plans, lower research. There's drums quarters, I guess. Database, Icarus, personnel, commands, Jarrell. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, here he is. Hey, buddy. I warned you, fool. Did you? Uh, immediately shoots me again. Man, this guy. I am not moving. My vision's just doing this. Attention all crew. Be advised, orbital correction procedure 41A. Be advised, severe structural and gravitational disturbances will be encountered. Be warned, danger to station hull integrity is at 90%. Be advised, ship alert status to red. End message. Vision's just cutting in and out. Oh, th that's it, that's a game over. Bad end. And Jarrell just straight up had me killed, along with everyone else?
Well, that's one way to start an installment, huh? Regret. The bane of a myriad. I think that's spelled wrong. M-Y-R. Of a myriad lost souls. The Kamina, book 17, verse 1. 48 score, though. For making a dumbass move like giving Jarell's own evidence recording. I don't know. So that's that's a thing. At this point, I'm going to go for the last two endings that I'm aware of. I hope they go in a more positive direction. Well, here we are, doing a new game. I'm gonna be a jerk. I can hardly breathe. Yeah. See this engineer? Oh well. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. See, if I save the engineer, then of course he gives me the opportunity to go into this door. But even as I do so, you may have noticed there were announcements that said, Oh, the, the doors are gonna lock soon. It's getting toxic in there or whatever. Or yeah, radiation contamination. So, yeah, full isolation. So if I don't make it to the, uh, two, two minutes. If I don't make it to the exit in time, then I fall unconscious. If I don't save this engineer, then there's no way I can leave. So I will fall unconscious. I'm not really interested in the falling unconscious part so much as I am being a jerk and not saving the engineer, because this is going to piss off the whole space station, and we'll see where things go from there. How does that sound? Two minutes. I'll finish you in two minutes. Isolation procedure complete. Deactivation of the following resources. Mainline and auxiliary power, down. Depleting lighting as of now. Communication network clipped. Mine is now the only voice you shall hear. Oh my god. Atmosphere regulatory relays and gravity maintenance, down. Disengaging life support, now. Oh no! And now that we're done with the dream maze, we should be into new territory. Yeah. So let me evaluate your situation. Let me just evaluate. It's Gerald. First, you are connected to the shuttle crash, which disabled our bay area. And secondly, it would appear that you allowed an engineer to die. Now tell us, what are we supposed to think of you? Uh. Where am I? Tell me? Quiet. Once I have my answers, maybe you shall receive yours. I suggest that we await the report from the recon party. We shall talk once they return. What is happening? Okay. Uh, I'll tell you as much as you need to know. We have reason to believe that the assassin Shatterjack may have infiltrated the station. So that's what they meant in the beginning of the game. Also, we have reason to believe that he is here due to the senatorial presence our station is presently enjoying. But most important, and this is the part that should concern you the most, my friend, we believe that you are the assassin. And, as you can provide no evidence to the contrary, we shall continue to treat you as though that were indeed the case. Unless, of course, you opt to help us with our... investigations. Oh, come, come, Drum, he's a criminal. Why give him any choice? Damn. These guys don't mess around. Yeah, we're going to the bad end. Oh, it's the... Ah, our subject is awake. It was very kind of Chief Gerald to donate you to our experiments. Yeah, it's the villain, isn't it? Although it is unfortunate that you could possibly die in defense of your right to anonymity. I'm Garrett Sharova. I was sent here as a member of the medical assist team requested by this station. I arrived with a shuttle launched from... Yes, 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 but that was never confirmed, was it? Your claims were never actually proven to be true. The equipment is ready, sir. I can't even look around. Excellent, let us begin. You are to be exposed to levels of radiation which touch upon critical. The research team would like to thank you for volunteering to assist our investigations into the effects of perceptual deprivation. Goodbye? Oh my god! Who authorized these tests? Icarus was meant to be a simple mining concern, not a military research facility. 
Begin the experiment. Be aware. Irradiation procedure initiated. Oh my god, be advised. Sensory deprivation procedure engaged. Initiating an insta instating tumble maze environment. Whoa. Whoa. This is a whole new thing. Oh, is that the map? Three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> this game. Whoa. How do I? Oh my god, that's freaking funky. Ooh. Hold R to strafe. Let's do that. So here's the thing. I have a few chances to do this. If I get out, then I'll be put in quarantine, and then I can go about the station like normal, but people will generally distrust me. Yellow arrows lead to the exit, but I am more interested... I am more interested in failing the experiment. So I'm gonna follow the red arrows. Oh my god, this is nauseating, these controls. Good lord. Well, everything's going this way anyway. Okay, I, I'm kind of getting the hang of it. It's weird because the controls are inverted. Like, up and down or forward and back. But left and right? Like, I'm pressing left now. I'm pressing right now. Like, it's so weird. And even if I hold R and I press left, I strafe to the right. Like, it's the, the weirdest freaking thing. But if I just remember that my controls are horizontally reversed, it's not terrible. See, so yeah, I'm gonna follow these red arrows to... Huh? Maybe I waited too long, or did I reach the wrong end, or, or what? So, you're not as smart as old Azira thinks. Maybe you'd like to try that again. God, what an ass. These guys really are out to get me. Be aware, a radiation procedure initiated. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah, this time I have more time to complete it. We, we can skip that scene. So I have 90 seconds, 110 seconds, and 120 seconds. But this time I'm just gonna... What? Okay, this time I'm just gonna book it for the, the red arrows and see if that makes any kind of difference. The, oh my god, these controls are straight up nauseating. Yeah, I guess I do just... Bleh. This is, like, this is an aspect of the game I've never even seen before. It's really bizarre. And like I said, if I complete this successfully, then the game resumes, well, the, the basic plot resumes as normal, but nobody likes me. <laughs> That's the difference. I have to really earn everybody's trust instead of at the beginning with that doctor where he's like, who are you? And I show him my credentials and he's like, oh, cool. Yeah, the, the captain. And remember, the captain's dead. Can I talk to him? Honestly, that's really surreal that they just show me the captain's, like the dead captain's face, like wrong way. Like that's freaking weird. And apparently the blue and green arrows simply don't take me to where I want to go. The red arrows lead me to this. The yellow arrows lead me to the exit, but, like, where do I go now? Well, time's up. Oh, no. So I guess one more time before they really don't trust me. Dear, oh dear, this just won't do. 
I did think you were stronger. Never mind, one more run should conclude my testing. This is a cruel way to start the game. Like, the controls in this game are really difficult to get used to, so like you're supposed to save the engineer, but I could easily see people just getting frustrated and not knowing what to do. And then the game just dicks you around like this? Like, this is brutal. And again, because I was using a guide this whole time, this is an entire section of the game I've never seen before. It's... okay. It's so bizarre. Blue arrows. Yeah, they, they just point to dead ends. Like, you have to just figure out that it's the yellow arrows you want. Good lord, this game is cruel. Well, let's see what we get. I'm upside down, and I'm swinging. Ah, at last I have your full attention, comrade. It's the Senator. By the authority invested in me by the Senate of the Whole and the General Collective, I arrest you, Shatterjack. You shall remain here until such a time that you can be taken from this place and to another, where you shall stand trial for your crimes against the hegemony. Wow. Needless to say, I shall see you vaporized for what you have done to my fellow Senators. Oh my god. Be aware. Alert for attention of visiting Senatorial Party. Transport 337K is docked and cleared to leave. The crew of the Icarus wish to extend their gratitude to you for having taken an interest in our affairs. We hope you enjoyed your stay. Oh my god. <laughs> This is the worst. And it looks like we're getting off on his yacht to be taken to our execution. Man, and this is probably the ending a bunch of new players got because they didn't know what they were doing. And it's just like, well, game over, you lose. Like, what? What am I supposed to do? I guess we escape, but what about the station? Or are we just not going to show what happens to the station? Yeah, no, where we just leave. In an age where we should be on the verge of our greatest triumphs, we find ourselves facing our greatest fears. Mistrust in the hegemony. Tamarin, Aiden, Edgel. Wow. Bad end. Good lord. Yeah, yeah, rock and music. I don't think so. Damn. Now I'm gonna try something different, I think. Well, here we are in a brand new game. I'm gonna take care of something that I actually did not do in my initial playthrough. So first of all, I am going to go ahead and pick up this environmental suit like before. I am going to go ahead and heal this engineer like before. Boom. So he gets up. And now... So he gives me the shield activation key. I'll activate the shields. This is something silly. I had always remembered to use the key on the object, but I never actually used the object. Use. Base shields acknowledge manual activation. And the alarm's just off. We activated shields. I just never did that in my initial playthrough. How embarrassing. And then this guy opens the doors. I go on through without the alarm. That's the part I like. We go on through. And we get blasted. Hold it right there. Oh my goodness, set to stun. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the dream maze but when we get back, something different ought to happen with our good doctor friend. And now we're back with the good doctor. So, I'll go ahead and give him my credentials. And he gives me the same speech that he does before. And then I go ahead and ask him who's the guest on the ship. But oh no, his presence is required. Go to the bay area with immediate effect. So he's like, oh, the bay must have been cleared. Excellent. I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me a while. I'm certain that Vusta will look after you. Of course, Doctor. See, this is already different. Before, he used to say, oh, I'm needed. Uh, 
Dr. Lovey will talk to you later. So now I chill. Although I will talk to the engineer. I saved you. Turn to the skies. He gives me that key phrase. So now I'm chilling. Hello, sir. Who are you? Huh, huh. I'm your worst nightmare. Alright. <laughs> Anyway, I'll chill here for a little bit. Ah, here we go. Ah, Mr. Sharova, I'm glad you're still here. The flight recorder from the wreckage confirms your identity. Flight recorder? I thought it was lost when the shuttle hit. Oh, do shut up. What? Oh, there was the guy behind me. As I was saying, now your identity is known to me. I'll be sure to take the appropriate course of action. Busto. Medic Downlit has requested you report to see her when you have a moment free. So as you now have a moment free, I suggest that you and Drum report to her as soon as possible. Downlit, Doctor. What does she want? I think you would know better than any of us, wouldn't you say? Now just a minute, let me explain something. Don't worry, Busto. I'll never tell. I'll never tell anyone what goes on between you and Downlit. Wow! Now, Mr. Shirova, before you leave quarantine, I must inform your body of the various diseases and hazards it shall encounter aboard the Icarus. Please just try to relax. Think happy thoughts, Garrett. Okay, so now he's going to actually use this machine. Which, by the way, is a surgical unit. Yeah, and then he uses the machine, I go unconscious, and I actually go into my second maze. So there's that. A maze again? What happened to the Icarus? Yeah, so now I gotta put up with this. So I'll go ahead and try to make this quick. Get through here. There. Here. And this maze is not the same as the first one. It's a little more complicated, it seems. Ooh, I do hope I'm doing this right. Yeah, I think I am. And then I just zigzag in, it looks like. Yeah, and that's it. Bingo. Rings within rings line. So you are my wife. <laughs> Find me again. And we, we've seen that. There, that should stand you in good stead during your stay. Your arm may feel a little stiff for a while, perhaps even heavy. But you'll soon get used to it. As far as I can see, you present no immediate danger to us. Still, if you could stay within quarantine just to be safe. We don't want you being shot by security now, do we? I'll notify the medical chief that you need to be granted clearance. I'm certain Dr. Love will be happy to accommodate. There we go. Remember what I told you. The shields. So, yeah, th now we're back to where we were in the first place. Now we wait for Dr. Lovey. The difference is because I activated shields, I also got inoculated. This is going to pay off later. Well, here we are, still at the beginning of the game. I've completed Dr. Lovey's quests, and now I'm going to go to that engineer who mistakes me for someone else and shoots me and puts me in the dream maze. Just as soon as I find the right room. I want 181, not 182. Here's the guy. Hey. But then he shoots me. Now, here's the thing. Normally, this put me into dream maze 2. But at this point... I've already been in Dream Maze 2, so I'm going to actually get a third maze. Why do I keep finding myself in this place? Yeah. So now I have an even more difficult maze to navigate. There we go. I'll do what I can. All the way around.
I hope this is right. Yeah, it should be. And now we get a new scene. Oh, it's Ta. I'm hurt. So she doesn't know. I need another clue. You go on that way. What? So Jian takes off her face and it's my mother, and now it's navigator Ta. And then there's an old English couple. What? In any case, this is going to be relevant later. So we talk to this guy and then we advance the plot. So I'm going to go to a branch point in the story to go for a few different endings. Let's let's take a look. Well, here we are back on Geodome 1. We have Jural's evidence recording, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to the engineer. Here you go. Typical, typical. There's gonna be mutiny, I tell you. Mutiny. Don't want that. Alright, so this is going to lead to still another mutiny plotline, if you can believe it. So these guys are just here. And my next goal is going to be to go to Garalak because he will tell me to go and take the yacht beacon from the senator, so I may as well just beam over to engineering one right now. Haha! -ha! Okay. I know how to get out of a stinking coffin. Get the yacht beacon. Okay. So this is the part where I'm supposed to go to the senator's quarters and get the yacht beacon. But what I actually want to do is wait for the senator to leave so this mutiny plan fails miserably and they have to try a plan B. So I'll see if I can get away with that. Okay, and the senator has left. This means that I've given the engineers the evidence recording and... So what? So at this point I'm going to need a particular engineer to come to me and tell me that there's going to be a plan B. Sharova, follow me. Chief Engineer Garalak has requested your audience. We have very little time, my friend. Okay, now we're talking. I'm assuming that I'm going to follow him to where I'm supposed to be going. The situation has changed, Garrett. The Senatorial Party have left. We no longer have any option. Has left. The orbit correctional data must be implemented immediately. Do we have your consent? I mean, yes. Jeez, I don't know how to say this. Good, it's decided then. What? The plan goes ahead. Sure, we implement immediately. Okay. Guess I'll follow you. And now we're in the two hunt. Like, I have no idea what's going on. Okay, we're getting this station into the shade. Have ion fire control set the directionals for these headings and wait. Oh, thank the stars. Right away, sir. Okay. Psst. You. Medic. Okay, this is what I actually wanted. Come with me. Me and some of the engineers, we have a plan. And I. I think we could save the station. We'll meet in Lopon's quarters. This is what I was waiting for. Thank you. Because that whole Garrow like thing, I had no idea what that was. Okay, engineering one. This is what I actually wanted to happen. I got so nervous. And I actually know where to go to as well, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Although I suppose I could just follow him anyway. We wanna go to room 332. And engineering one looks easier to navigate than engineering three. So this is good. This is gonna be mutiny number three, because again, the senator's gone, so we're gonna have to do something on our own because negotiations just didn't exist. Hi. 
Now listen. The scientists reckon that the solar flares are due to the canyons and the corona, right? Yeah, that's what the scientists say. So here's the plan. We kill the thrusters. Yeah, simple. What? Are you people crazy? Look, we load all the remaining Kenyans into a missile, yeah? And then we wait. And the next time there's a really big flare, we fire the missile into it. We reckon that if we kill the thrusters as the flare erupts the force from the flare, magnified by the Kenyan loaded missile, should be enough to blow us to safety. So what do you think? That is a risky move. I'm not sure that'll work. Of course it will work. You find the Kenyans and bring them to me. Meanwhile, we'll prepare the missile and monitor the flares. Conversation over? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the room that offers me that opportunity. This is another case of good luck finding it, but we know where to look. Here we go, 283. Now we're talking. Um, how do I, like, yeah, the, the force field is up. Do I turn this thing off? Is it on the other side? It's almost certainly not. Whoa! Did that do it? But the damn force feels still on though. Like, what do you want from me? Orbit stabilization failure. Yeah, this is like the, the game over sequence. I can't turn the force field off though. I don't even get it. Okay, guess I'm dead. <laughs> Human error. Inquest into the loss of Icarus Station. Damn, I've never seen that one before. That's what you get when the, the place blows up. Jeez.